What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cast to side to everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. If everyone has free will, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Sorry, I just ate. <clears throat> Oh, okay, it's my dishwasher. Okay, so um, I received a channel message, so I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well tonight. I do, I do, I do, who? Um, on this 11-12 of 2022. It's a little cool here in Huntsville, Alabama, but hope everybody has wonderful weather. Just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, an I heard a very dark side Aquarius. Um, but they... Uh, specifically put a binding spell on a feminine energy. So I feel whoever this is for you or the feminine energy, they put the binding spell on. Um, for one, it is a, I heard for one, it was a minor feminine energy. For one, one, it was an adult. But I heard um, <clears throat> the binding spell has already started to break and soon it is about to completely be broken and it will never be recovered. That's what I heard. Um, and I did hear initials in this. I heard B, J, and M. So you plug it in how it resonates. I feel those could be B is in uh, B is in ball, J is in jack o' lantern, M is in money. B J M. So I feel the initials B J M could be possible possible first, middle, or last initial or the name initial of the Aquarius. Or a first, middle, or last name or nickname initial of you. However that resonates and applies. B is in boy, J is in jack-o'-lantern, M is in money. BJM. Okay? But we are pulling a very heavy Aquarius energy in here. Masculine or femme Aquarius. They could have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts. But they did very heavy binding work on you, femme energy. For one of the femme energies, it was a child. For one, it was a adult, adult femme energy. Um, in some cases, it could be both. But the binding spell is already broken. Soon, it's about to completely break. And I heard it will never be, it basically will never be recoverable. So it will not come back ever the way it was again. Ever, 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 ever. Three evers, very loud. Holy crap. It will never come back the same way it was again, ever, ever, ever. And I heard it very loud. Ever, ever, ever. Now, of course, this is a dark side Aquarius. So if you are a light side Aquarius, that does not apply for you. This is a very, very dark side Aquarius. I feel, I heard binding spells. Binding spells, so root, root work, sacral chakra energy. I mean, they did the most. And that's just the truth. Heavy root work here. Very heavy root work with sacral chakra energy and other energies they were pulling in but heavy binding work energy, specifically for a femme child and a um, adult femme. But it's it's in the process of breaking, baby, and soon it's about to completely be broken. Just saying, just saying, okay? I feel I need to pull these. I want to tell you guys while I'm shuffling out, I'm in the process of making my own deck, but I'm not... Um, I'm going to take my time with it. I'm like going to do the, I'm going to do all the artwork Im images by myself. And um, I'm like going to make a deck deck, like a deck deck, not like a homemade deck. So I'm going to really take time with it. I'm going to draw the images myself. Um, I'm getting, drawing inspiration from this deck actually to make it. It's not going to be, it's not going to be this deck, obviously. It's, I'm just drawing um, inspiration from this deck, but um but it's going to take a while for me to release it because I ha I'm drawing all the images on the deck myself. So I just want to let everybody know that. I will let you guys know as soon as I release it, okay? But it will be a while. Spirit messages for the person. Wings reverse, that's the binding spell energy. 
The, oh my God, you cannot make this up even if you wanted to. Holy crap. Wings reverse. That's, that's the binding spell energy in here. The dark, dark art. I heard it was a dark side Aquarius. And I strongly feel some of these dark side Aquarius is, of course, you have to plug your situation and story in however it resonates and applies to your own personal situation. But I heard BJM. So I feel one of these dark side Aquarius is their initials could first, middle, last initial, or nickname initial could start with a B, a J, or an M. Or your initial fem energy, or your child's initial, or a child's initial. It doesn't have to be your child. It's a fem child and an adult fem they were binded, uh, binded themselves to. Um, BJM, just saying, just saying. And a Libra that has very old items of yours in the past. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to get ruined. They are about to get ruined. They specifically collected these items for DNA evidence. DNA evidence for dark arts. But it's been so long. They're about to get ruined. And in one situation, they're about to burn up. Oh my God. Whoa. So we have heavy dark arts Libra energy in here too. So a dark arts Aquarius, a dark arts Libra. It can be masculine fem Aquarius, masculine fem Libra. They can have Aquarius or Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, and Jupiter charts. But you know this person. You definitely, I think you know this person if you resonate in this story. For some, I feel it could be your fem child they were trying to bind to. And I'm just being for real. It's sick. I didn't hear it was your fem child, but in some situations it might be. For some, it may be somebody else's fem child. But we have a dark arts Libra. But this person is a person in your past. They have, I heard they've collected items of yours of like years ago. But they've done it to collect the DNA evidence, um, DNA, I heard DNA evidence off of it, but I heard it was to use it in dark arts situation. But I heard those items are about to get ruined. And in one situation, some of this shit's going to burn up. So however it's going to burn up, fire magic is about to backfire. Fire magic is about to backfire. Some kind of fire magic is about to backfire. So... Some kind of fire magic's about to backfire on this Libra. I think that's what's about to cause it to burn up. But they wanted DNA evidence, meaning hair follicles, skin particles, nail follicles, something. But I heard it's been like years since you've even been around this Libra. But you know them, obviously. And somehow they have acquired some kind of, I think, maybe um, maybe clothing articles of yours or, uh, or something of that nature. I'm thinking clothing articles or a hat or... Something that they could collect strands of hair or um, um, shavings of fingernails or um, skin particles or something of that nature so they can put it in their dirty dark arts cauldron. That's sick, but people really do do this whether you want to believe it or not, and I'm just being serious. Uh, but it's been years, and in one situation, it's about to backfire with them burning up some kind of fire magic. So that's how the items are going to burn up. Now, I didn't see here specifically what kind of items, but that would make sense with the dark energy here. And I'm just being serious, trying to bind you to them. I didn't hear specifically this Libra was doing binding spells on you, but there's a reason they're doing dark arts on you too. And they're using, trying to use hair follicles or skin particles or nail shavings or something, some kind of DNA of yours to do it. It is about to seriously backfire on them. And a voodoo doll they have made of you, a dog is about to destroy it. And pee all over it. Oh my God Almighty. The Libra. The Libra. Okay, and this Libra, apparently they're into fire magic. They have items of yours from the past. They're trying to gain DNA crap off of it of yours. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy. If that resonates for you. Um, okay. And they have made a voodoo doll of you. They, I mean, they're going in through great freaking links. They have made a voodoo doll of you. And I heard soon the voodoo doll is about to be destroyed. I heard specifically a dog is about to destroy it. So I think their dog's probably going to think it's a play, play toy or something. Um, or use it as a play toy or just 
bite the head off. Or I didn't hear specifically how the dog's going to destroy it, but somehow the dog's going to destroy it. And um, which which is going to make the energy backfire and release in a huge way. Which is going to make the energy backfire and release in a huge way. So once the dog destroys the voodoo doll, and I heard pee on it, they're going to pee uh, destroy it and pee on it. They're the good lord. But once they destroy it, and peeing on it could be part of destroying it too. I'm presuming once they destroy it, whether it's peeing on it or physically destroying it, like an arm off or a head off or something, or the stuffing coming out or something, um, it's about to make the energy backfire on the Libra. Yikes! This is why you should never play with dark arts. If you might need to hear that, but um, the initial D is very significant in this too. And C. The initial D and C are very significant in this too. D and C. So D is in um, dolphin and C is in cat. So we have um, J, M, and B. J, M, and B, and then D and C. So J is in jack o' lantern, M is in money, C is um, uh, J is in jack o' lantern, B is in bat, and uh, M is in money. And then D is in dog and C is in cat. So D and C are the other two letters, D and C. So D is in um, dolphin or dog, C is in cat, five letters in here. But two people, two, two dark arts energies. And then fem energies, a fem child and a, a adult, adult fem and a fem down here for the Libra. Heavy voodoo hoodoo. Dark arts witchcraft here. This is terrible. A very significant court situation coming up is about to backfire on these people in a huge way. A very significant court situation coming up is about to backfire on these people in a huge way. So some kind of very significant court situation coming up is about to backfire on these people in a huge way. So there's some kind of upcoming force situation. Maybe the Aquarius is involved with it, the Libra's involved with it, or they both are involved with it. Some kind of upcoming force situation, upcoming in the universe, so it hasn't happened yet. Um, but I heard the course situation is about to backfire on them in a huge way. I think one may be involved, or both may be involved, or maybe one is indirectly involved. But somehow, an upcoming course situation is about to backfire on these people. The Aquarius, the Libra, or both. Masculine fem Aquarius, masculine fem Libra. Yikes. A surprise person is about to be called to the court situation. It's about to shock the uh, shock the hell out of these people. And this person will be very honest. And it will not go well for these people. Okay, I heard a surprise person is going to be called to this court situation soon. So it's an upcoming court situation in the universe. A surprise person is going to be called to the court situation. So I, I don't know if they've already been called to the court situation or they're about to be. How that resonates and applies. For some, I feel it could be you, adult fem energy, about to be called to the um, core situation for some, for some of you guys. You plug it in how it resonates, but I heard you're going to be very honest, whoever you are, if you get called to the core situation. For some, you could be a masculine about to be called to the core situation, but whoever's about to be called to the core situation, whoever you are, if you fit into that category, masculine or fem, I heard you're going to be very honest, and I heard it's about to seriously backfire on these people. So I feel subpoena witness here. I feel you're about to be subpoenaed to the court of law and um, speak the truth. The, the truth is going to set you free and it is about to entrap them. The truth is about to set you free and entrap them. 
That's what I heard. The truth is about to set you free and entrap them. But the Aquarius is trying to put a binding spell on you. The Libra has been doing fire magic and collecting articles of yours from years ago and has a voodoo doll and all kinds of crazy shit. Um, but the truth, if you were the one about to be called to the court of law soon, it doesn't sound like you've been subpoenaed yet. And I didn't hear subpoenaed. That's just kind of what I'm feeling because I heard you're going to be called to the court of law soon. So I think you're about to be subpoenaed um, is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates or however they do it in whatever justice legal system you reside in, I guess. But when you get called to the court of law of masculine feminine energy, I heard the truth's going to set you free and it's going to entrap these people. So you know something very important on these people or you know some important truth that is going to set you free. I think they were trying to entrap you and clip your wings with the wings reversed. And I feel for a lot of you guys, your fem energies. For some, you could be a masculine. But how that resonates, they were trying to Clip your wings and entrap you, but you know some heart, uh, you know some truth, and it's going to free you and entrap them. They were trying to, I think, um, they were they're heavy dark arts builders here, so I think they've been using verbal manipulation out in the world. Uh, and verbal manipulation is a form of spell work for anybody that doesn't know, lying. Lying on person, people, place, or situation is a form of verbal spell work for anybody doesn't know. So I don't think they have any problems lying, is what I'm saying. Because they're used to doing all the shit in the dark with the dark arts. So I don't think they have any problems lying. And I think they're master manipulators. And I didn't hear they were, but I'm just saying. Usually dark arts people are. They're very skilled at lying. They're very, very skilled at master manipulating. But you are a true speaker, whoever you are. I don't, I don't, you don't go around manipulating people to get manifest what you want in life is what I feel. But yet these people know you are, they know you're the light. Your light irritates their demons in a huge way. Your light irritates their demons in a huge way. So I heard your light irritates their, your de their demons in a huge way. So they want to clip your wings, but it sounds like for whoever is about to be, I'm, I'm feeling possible subpoena to the courthouse soon. The tr you are a true speaker, and the truth is going to set you free. So you plug it in how it resonates. I'm closing it here. I love you guys so much, and I'm going to say.